Saka Fet YouTube and welcome back to my channel. Let us make a chicken and vegetable stir fry. darlings i'm back with a new recipe and for this recipe i'm gonna be using 500 grams of chicken thigh these ones are boneless i'm just gonna clean it and slice it up into small strips okay if you want you can leave it whole but i just find it's you know it's so much easier when it's cut into small strips So once we're done I'm gonna transfer it to a clean bowl and I'm just gonna go ahead and wash it with some lime juice and vinegar as well as some cool water and once it's all washed and cleaned I'm gonna pat it dry and season using some sea salt, black pepper, some fresh ginger and garlic about a teaspoon of that roughly. I just finished chopping it off so there's a small piece on my hand. I'm gonna go in with some soy sauce a little drop of honey as well as some cornstarch. Make sure to give this a good mix and let it set aside. Additional ingredients, you're gonna need some carrots, I have some bell peppers, some onions and some broccoli. For the sauce, I'm gonna go ahead and add about two tablespoons of dark soy sauce. You can use light, but I just think light is a bit saltier. I'm going in with some honey, some cornstarch and about a quarter cup of water and make sure to mix that in well until the cornstarch dissolves. After it's all mixed in, set it to one side and let's get down to business. Using a clean pan, I'm going in with some oil. Allow that to heat up for about a minute and then we're gonna go ahead and fry our chicken pieces. Now you just want to get some nice color on both sides. This takes about eight to 10 minutes. Doesn't take long at all because the chicken pieces are so small. After about four or five minutes, I will flip it over on both sides. And once it's all cooked, we're gonna remove it from the pot and set it to one side. Well, for the final step, I've gone ahead and just add in the remainder of my chopped garlic and ginger. I'm going in with my onions as well. Let that saute for about a minute or two until translucent. I'm now going in with my peppers and I'm just gonna mix that in. I like my peppers to have a nice crunch, so you don't wanna overcook that. Keep your heat on a medium to high and you'll be all right. So in this bowl over here, I have my broccoli and carrots. I just poured some hot water onto them just to soften them a little bit because I'm only going to leave them in the pot for about a minute. And you and I both know carrots does not cook in a minute at all. <laughs> so that's just a nice little step that you can do. And after I've tossed it all in, I'm going to season it lightly with a little bit of black pepper. You don't have to put all-purpose seasoning, but you know, just to get a little flavor in the veg going back with your chicken pieces and yes my love this is looking so amazing already you just need to toss it in 
put in your sauce and this is perfect we're gonna have this as a meal on its own however you can have it with some rice you can have it with even some pasta or potatoes whatever you prefer but once i add my sauce in i just let that thick enough for about a minute or two and it's ready this stir fry took literally 15 minutes to make not long at all and i was out of the kitchen so i really hope you enjoy this quick easy healthy chicken stir fry don't forget to tag me on instagram if you try it at all and i'll see you again in my next one thank you for watching bye bye